Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. So this is a lab on DHCP uh, snooping. It's covered in the Cisco CCNA syllabus, Cisco CCMP, and the CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus. So it, it covers a lot of certifications. There's actually a blog post, and I'll put a link in the description, giving you all the theory, all of your configurations and verification commands. And this video is just the lab which you can do using Packet Tracer, a free download from Cisco. Uh, only 10% of the people who watch this video are subscribers. We're putting a lot more content on and uh, career advice and free courses and mini courses. So please uh, click on the subscribe button. There's also a new join button. We're putting full IT certification courses up, starting with CCNA CyberOps from Cisco and the full CCNA in 60 days course so check that out also if you want to and enjoy the lab welcome to lab 95 configuring DHCP snooping so hopefully you've read about the purpose of DHCP snooping to protect our DHCP information from uh, being spoofed on the network it used to be a CCMP switch topic and now, as with a few of the subjects, it's dropped into CCNA. Now, thankfully, it makes it quite easy because this the commands we need to use are supported on Packet Tracer, which is really useful. So I don't go through the server and host configuration in the printed solution, but I'll show you what I did here. Because uh, it can be a little bit fiddly to set up. The uh, snooping commands firstly will configure on the gigabit interfaces on this switch. It's a 2960 in Packet Tracer. It's IP DHP DHCP snooping. Press the uh, enter key and then we, same command again, but we type VLAN 1 on the end. Wouldn't normally use VLAN 1 for security reasons, but just for the purposes of this lab. Now we have to configure a trusted interface and in this case it's going to be giga, gigabit 0 slash 1. So IP DHCP snooping trust. Uh, the PC we're going to need to ask for the address via DHCP. Uh, which um, It's not going to work straight away because I'm going to need to go back to the uh, server. As I showed you before, the servers in Packet Tracer you have to enable network software or management software depending on what you're looking to do. So you can see um, we we're, it's not working at the moment, the DHCP. If I click on it, it's requesting an address and it fails after a few seconds and self allocates um, the APIPA range of address. Just check the interfaces are up on my switch. Obviously, the one connected to the PC and one for the server both have to be up. Yeah, and they're up, so it's something on the server side here. I already enabled the network software under software services, but because I haven't used one of these virtual servers before. I've missed off something. So the configuration uh, default gateway, I've reserved an IP address and you can see the range starts from 2 but I didn't turn it on and I didn't click on save. So now I've done that hopefully this server should issue DHCP addresses. I just need to click on static and then DHCP to get it working again and you can see straight away an address has been allocated uh, 1.3 Now we can do the show commands. Show IP DHCP snooping. You can see we've got a trusted interface here. Show IP DHCP snooping binding and you can see the host that's been allocated the address you normally have a lot more obviously but we've just got one hosts and the MAC address ends in 54.7d 
So just to double check, you can actually go over to the host and check the MAC address there. So there are the um, commands you need. It's the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.